we have this regular hexagon and we're asked to find the size of angle UPT. So we start at U, we go to P and then to T, it's the angle that's kind of created from that. It's generally the, the, uh, the smaller acute angle, it's that one there. Right, now in a hexagon, a regular hexagon that is, the angles are all 120 degrees. That's actually worth knowing, a bit like in a square to learn that it's 90. In a pentagon, 108. A hexagon, 120. I know, I know a few of them anyway, and I, I do recommend like learning those if you're, you know, if you like to do these sorts of competitions. Okay, if you, if you don't know that, it's fine. Next up, we can remember, right, we can take this hexagon, and if we start at one of the points, we can split it into four triangles, and the angles in the triangle will add up to the ones in the hexagon overall. So the total angle is going to be four times 180. And then because we're, you could work that out if you want, or you can go straight away and find out one of the angles by dividing by six. So you either do, seven, um, I think it becomes 720 divided by six if you multiply it, or you can just cancel out the six and the 30, to give, sorry, six and the 180 to give 30, and then that also leads to 120. Right, we've got our 120, let's put it up there. We now also have an isosceles triangle, that's the key thing to realise here. So these two are the same, we're splitting 60 degrees, that's the difference between 180 and 120, between two angles are equally, so 60 divided by 2 gives us 30. Just very quickly, there is another way to do this question, and that is to use exterior angles instead. You could just work out this angle. It's a little bit easier, because the exterior angles always add up to 360. If you imagine walking around the shape, every single time you turn, you are turning an exterior angle. And at the end, when you get back, or when you get back to the beginning, you would have turned 360 degrees. You basically turned around in a, in a circle. So if we do 360 divided by six, because all the angles are the same, we get 60. That angle is 60, and that would also lead you to the 120. I'm just giving you an alternative route to get there. Okay, I, I think I, Quite often fall into the trap, I just get focused on the interior angles and forget how powerful the exterior angles are as well.